Hi students, welcome back to the class. We are staying miles apart, but all collectively fighting against the common enemy, Corona. What state government and what central government, all together are working to make India healthy again. Yes, I want to bring you to the topic federalism, part three for class 10 students. In this class, I want to impart you the two routes through which the countries have become federations. The exact balance between the central government and the state government differs from one federation to the other. This balance, it depends upon the historical background of the country. Accordingly, a country adopts its route of federation. The first route through which countries become federation is coming together federation. Under this method, the independent states come together to form a bigger unit. By pooling sovereignty, they want to retain their identity and to increase their security. Here, under this method, each independent state is powerful with regard to the national government. Countries which have been formed on the basis of coming together federation are the United States of America, Switzerland and Australia. The other route through which countries become federation is holding together federation. Under this method, a big country wants to divide its power between the union government and state government. In this method, the union government becomes comparatively more powerful than the state government. Very often, all the units do not enjoy equal powers. As in case of India, union territories do not enjoy equal powers just like a state. Even moreover, some states also granted special powers. With regard to this point, I want to add some information to you. Earlier, Jammu and Kashmir used to enjoy special power under Article 370. But so far, the story is the central government withdrew the, withdrew the 370 article and thereby Jammu and Kashmir lost its identity of being a state. And the union government has declared the state as divided it into two union territories. Thereby, these two union territories directly were brought under the control of the central government. In this way, the central government has brought a specific and significant alteration in the unique feature of federation in India. Students, thereby we come to the end of this session, but still a lot of information is waiting for you. I will be communicating with you about that new information in the forthcoming videos. Until then, stay safe, stay at home and stay safe. Thank you.